everybody, this is Sean Powell again. I'm going to do another video. This one is going to be about ratios. Um, and people who stand in the wrong places. Uh, I, I know a lot of y'all, if you've done online business for much, you know what I'm talking about when I say, uh, you'll see some people that live in a Facebook group for the business, right? Well, what I've seen in the past, and, and I think a, a leaderboard really helped me learn a lot about what people were doing. I do not have my seatbelt on. Hold on, there's a policeman right here. I was thinking about recording here. I apologize. Okay, let me get squared away here. All right, but like I said, you'll see people sometimes, and uh, they just live in a Facebook group. And what, they're, what you can do sometimes, y'all, is you can spend a lot of effort and time in the wrong place and and you wind up realizing that, that you had all the time in the world to build a good business you were just it's, it was like fishing in a ditch when all you had to do was turn around and fish in a pond there was a pond full of people you know and, and, and whatever avenue they could have been but yet some of y'all would rather spend the entire day inside of a Facebook group full of people who are already in the business. Now, what I learned a long time ago was, is I needed to focus my ratio and my attention um, to where am I getting out and building, you know, building my business. Now, I use Facebook, and understand, when I say Facebook, and I'm using Facebook, I'm getting out to people, 90, I say 90%, 92%, I always figured about 8% somewhere in the ballpark, to be honest. When I'm giving out ratios, 92% of the time, I'm focusing at getting out the people. That's going to be my timeline. That's going to be, um, you know, uh, I used work at home opportunities in those Facebook groups, which they tell you not to do now. I, I still have no problem with that. Uh, you know, but the main thing is whatever avenue you pick, focus in the, that direction and stay focused. Anywhere that you can find like-minded people who are not in your business. Now, I grant you, if if you are killing paid advertising, I mean, you just know that you're spending a lot of money. That's where that's where all your efforts are coming from. Uh, you know, I mean, it's just going to be paid advertising. Then, if I was you, I'd be looking at what is my weakest link. What is, in other words, you know, are they getting a chance to connect with me? When are they getting the chance to connect with me? When they get to meet you, as opposed to just going through a sales funnel. So in my mind, that, to me, I think that's the biggest weak link that the average person, average person, has when they do with you know with paid advertising. Now I grant you, if you have got all your ends tight, in other words, follow up email, your email campaigns afterwards, you really get a chance where people can really connect with you, and you've got something rolling great then maybe you need, you know, that next point is going to be that Facebook group where those people are at. And, you know, you can, you can put a lot of attention in that. I, but the problem is, in the past, that ain't what I saw. I saw people who were excited about a business that just sat in the Facebook group. I mean, literally, they just, like I said, they were fishing in a ditch, wasting their time, when they could have been getting out to people to, you know, that... And they can change your life. That's where it's going to be at, y'all. And and so often, what I would do is I made a routine for myself where I would post uh, on my timeline five times a day. And no, it does not have to be, uh, you know, about that online business, every one of them, or something like that. And it, I don't throw my link in everything I post on my timeline. It's more about being there, it's almost like an email reminder, you know, talking about autoresponder, uh, where it reminds you that the person's there. Well, if they friended you on Facebook and, and they see you constantly, you know, one of the best things you can ever do is, is have somebody go look at your timeline on Facebook and see that you're updated, you know, in the last day, yesterday, look at the day before. Yes, you do want to be a beacon for that business, but you do want to be personable as well and show, you know, that you're, you're just an average person. Don't have every picture a picture of your cat. Don't have, you know, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Don't have just pictures of your food, and that's it. But there's nothing wrong with posting some things like that. Just make sure that, you know, for the most part, you are being a beacon for your business. 
on your timeline. Because when people go looking at you, they want to know, do you believe in your business? Are you going to be accessible? And do you apply action? Now, my routine consists of proof, progress, welcome, congratulate, and uplift. Okay? Those are the five things. And when I post to my timeline, I will usually duplicate it and post it into a Facebook group. Okay, because I want the other people, it helps me build momentum, it helps me build credibility, it helps me uh, establish myself as a go-getter for that business, it helps brand me, all in all, and everyone in the group can see that, plus we're helping everybody. If, I'm, if you're in the business, and you're all in, and here I go, and you send five of your brand new people, and me and six other people are showing ridiculous income that come from Master Traffic Institute, Platinum, Diamonds, you know, stuff of that nature, it's going to motivate your people in a way. And then you can build that credibility and you can be able to do the same thing. So, yes, there, I, there's nothing wrong with using the Facebook group. I understand I'm not against going into the Facebook group. I'm against sitting there all day long like it is a social club and that's it. You're here to build your business. And unless you got lead numbers coming in, with the way that you're doing it, you really need to be asking yourself, what can I be putting my attention in? So, I always looked at it this way. When I was doing the best in online businesses, I was focusing at least 90% of my efforts at getting out to the world where people were not in my business. And then when I just do my proof, progress, welcome, congratulate, and uplift on my timeline and in that Facebook group, and I might pop in, you know, just that alone, y'all, welcoming people and stuff like that. That's going to get you a little bit of time, but that's where that 8% falls into. You see what I'm saying? So I stuck with that routine every day, and it just, it, it, it hit on all the right nerves like it needed to be. People who are brand new who are questioning me, well, you know what? I was answering, you know, they got to see what kind of person I was. Uh, you know, and, and, and so that was really brand to me. Secondly, you know, it, even if somebody sits back and watches you and don't say anything, if you're just relentless, y'all, I mean, we're just talking about getting out every day. Every time I turn around, this guy is just, he's just on it, man. Look at this, welcome this person, welcome this person, blah, blah, blah. Then, then what happens is, in, in their mind, they're still going to be watching you, and over a period of time, they might be happy in their business that day. But somewhere along that line, y'all, more than likely, they're going to start saying, you know what, I need to start looking at another business. And bam, here you are just hammering away. A lot of strength comes from consistency in the online business world. Uh, you know, I mean, it's like I said, I can post things on my timeline. And a lot of times, I don't look like I've got that much going on. I do not have the strongest timeline in the world. Uh, there's a lot of people that, you know, that can... Uh, uh, elevate levels higher than me getting a hundred comments and stuff like that y'all and that's great y'all but you'll be surprised by what I do how many people are upgrading because I'm being smart about what I'm doing uh, let's say if I brought in 10 brand new people y'all and and I'm posting today on my timeline that I brought in 10 new people well what do you think I need to do y'all I probably need to tell people the importance of upgrading diamond platinum MTI show that show this because they need to at this point now is a is a vital time that they can see this and see they're gonna learn from you as well you can learn more by watching someone than you can by hearing what they have to say and I have, I have said that so many times y'all but it's the truth you can get more by watching someone what a leader does than what they say so Anyhow, y'all, I, I didn't want to make this video a real long one. I just want y'all to know that when I was the highest that I was getting paid, 90% of the time I was getting out, busting my uh, busting my tail, uh, you know, build, building credibility. Um, you know, once I got that credibility going, I started using them timestamps of that day where people could see my email where I just got paid $1,100 today, $1,500 today, you know, and stuff of that nature. And then I used that to help me build more momentum. And I just kept, you know, kept the foot down on the, on the pedal, and it's just rolling. Uh, it, it's not hard to do this. Once you understand, that's what I've got to do. I've got to bust my tail, and uh, it really starts to kind of, it's almost like something taking off. 
it takes off and then it can really just start flying right by itself just about and that's what it feels like so um but yeah definitely pop back into the facebook group um of the businesses that you know i was talking about but don't let it be a social club and get in the way of you applying action because there's nothing more important than you getting you know you getting seen and getting heard by people who are not in your business and then just those five posts by that routine and then maybe you know i consider that eight percent is going to be some of that five posts a day plus just popping in the facebook group of the business you know i, I used to do it at nine o'clock at night so that i can see if anybody new i brought in might be having questions or whatever like that uh you know i, I would have some input on it but i'm definitely not going to sit in that facebook group all day long like the rest of the people did when i you know I, i'm telling you man if it was the answer I would have seen those people sitting in the Facebook group on the top of the leaderboards and they never were. And you know, I just felt like they were standing still while I was leaving to go get more people and I come back, you know, to be honest, they were cheerleaders for my business. You know, all they were doing were sitting in there and they'd give some good answers and this and that. But for the most part, they weren't bringing in new people and I was. So, something to think about. All right, till the next video. See ya.